Hey Jordan, what's the problem? What do you think's the problem? His leg hairs are about to be ripped. Can I do the honors? No, wait, you go. Rip his hairs from their roots. <laughs> no, stop rubbing it in. <laughs> yuck, yuck, yuck. Beautiful day here in Greencastle. Just got the trailer cleaned up. Getting ready to go and test at Putnamville tomorrow. We were absolutely terrible at Davenport the whole weekend and didn't sit well with me, can't sleep, just not doing a good job. Paul and Alice have given me a way better opportunity than uh, than I've been uh, putting in. So it was bloody tough because Kankakee were pretty good, Dubuque were pretty good, and then we go to Davenport and just get our butts handed to us was bloody tough. So anyway, on the bright side, trailer's nice and clean. Look at it, shined up. Just beautiful. Go we'll have a look inside, see what the boys are doing. Nice day. All right, car's pretty much ready to rip. Looks nice. Jordan and Wade here are doing tires. Say hello, folks. Wade, smile. That was, well, that was a very forced smile. There's a tyre shortage going on, as you can tell. We've been pretty lucky. We've uh, kind of kept on top of things, ordered you know a few weeks in advance, and when they come in, we're kind of the top of the list. So it's worked out pretty well with tyre situation over here. They're getting bloody expensive, though. Um, as you guys probably know, back home everything's uh, you know being rationed out and whatnot. So. Anyway, we got no we got no left rear thirties for Eldora, but everything else we're pretty cool with. So, been pretty lucky the whole trip. We haven't had to miss any races because it's a tight deal. So, anyway, let's have a look around this this bloody nice property Paul and Alice have got here. We've got Neil Wise over here, Paul's mate from back home, and he's the fire chief. No one else is allowed anywhere near the fire lighters, the fire or anything. So. He's in control of that. Bloody beautiful around here. Our trip's kind of coming to an end, which sucks, but um, it's been really nice over here. The, the weather's actually, despite it being a bit rough last night, it's actually been pretty good, so loving it. I'm sure it's warming up back home as well, but uh, yeah, I guess we'll find out in a couple of weeks. We've got uh, this weekend, which we're going to do the... Macon Summer Nationals Makeup Race with Stubbs. We're going to go to Farmer's City in Fairbury with the Mars Series. They're paying 10 grand each night. Um, and then we're going to Eldora on Sunday to kind of get tuned up for that um, World 100 weekend. So, man, I hope we have a better showing this weekend. It's been bloody tough. Um, I keep saying it, but like, we have such good equipment, all the tools in the toolbox to do the job. And I'm just not cutting the mustard right now, so having a great time though. So thankful for Paul and Alice and um, Jordan and Wade have been working hard and everyone's doing a good job. Just um, yeah, it's tough. It's tough, but um, anyway, having a great time in a great part of the world. So we'll have a chat to you in a minute and let you know how testing's going. Woohoo, Huey! <laughs> G'day fellas, um, just had the news that ABN Trademates have re-signed with uh, LMRWA for another year. It's pretty exciting news, um, great bunch of people over there, Vanessa and the whole crew are absolute champions and I think it's a testament to everything that's going on back home and uh, the strong car counts and, and everything that's going on with the committee and stuff. So, fantastic news and hopefully it's a big year for late models back home. Shit. All right, we're ready to test. We're here at Putnamville, just outside of Greencastle, maybe 15 minutes or so. Hopefully we can get some speed out of these cars. Got Jordan here. Tires are staggered special and 
something else, soft days of thunder. Oh, I almost fell over. Phew. Hey, Jackie. Credits Clearwater Revival. Or CCR. Oh, CCR, yeah. Look at that, there you go, Australia. Wow, this is beautiful. Now, Doris Speedway. 
Oh yeah. Keep them going, Eldora. Keep them going. Keep it going. So if, your, uh, if your neighbor doesn't have their cell phone out in the flashlight mode, give them a little... Five lights made, they're back at the A, mate. Friday night. Clarify. Oh, oh, Guys, oh, they're back at the A, mate. Give me your best, mate. Coming home, tell the world I'm coming home. <laughs> we um, just get everything packed up here. Shed's empty, all the stuff's packed away, cleaned up. Just going through and getting all the batteries out of everything and getting them ready to put on charge and keep charged up over the winter. And um, got got a motor in a box ready to send back home and going through and getting everything ready because uh. We're about done. It sucks. I um, we we started to make gains there at Eldora. I thought we could have made that that little invert deal and maybe got ourselves on the front row of a heat race, but just kind of missed out by like four positions. It was just gotta do a better job. These guys are bloody tough. So anyway, we're getting things tuned up here, and we'll be home. Not sure what the racing season has in store for us back home, but. We'll drive a production a fair bit. Um, yeah, October 15, Ellenbrook Speedway, round one. Actually, I'm not sure it is the first round, but late models are on and it'll be cool to be back there watching everyone have a burn. So, anyway, I'll keep chipping away and thanks very much for watching.